Hi everyone, it's Bobby. I want to share with you my uh, project for the Craftology box for November. This is the Gingerbread Christmas by Echo Park. Really cute, adorable paper. Um, I just created um, a mini album. This was the chipboard that came in the kit. It is six by eight and the spine is two and a half. And I just continued this pattern all the way around and I left left it pretty simple on the outside. I used some of the stickers on the front to decorate it a little bit and I secured it with some green seam binding from Country Craft Creations. And when you open my album, it looks like this. I have a little stopper here. Holds recipe cards. This is just a purchased recipe card from a local store. Uh, this little tuck spot uh, has the Christmas tree and the present that's from the sticker sheet. And when you turn this little flap, you have a little tuck spot. And I have a couple of the ephemera pieces in there. It says, Santa, stop here. We have cookies. And the little one says, the secret ingredient is love. So that goes in there. These tuck in the pocket and behind the tree and that holds that down. So this pocket or page, page one, let me see, I need to move down some more don't I? Okay, page one. Uh, we have a little tuck spot here with a couple of the stickers. This little gingerbread is from the sticker sheet. This is from the ephemera, it says we whisk you a Merry Christmas. And this is one of the ephemera pieces. Christmas is love with sugar sprinkled on top. You lift the little flap and you have more places for photos or journaling. And then additional places here. And these will also hold the recipe cards. So this can go back in this little pocket with the gingerbread man. And this guy can go over here. Like that. On the back side, this is what actually attaches to your hinge. I used one of the large ephemera cards says rolling out a batch of good cheer for someone who is very dear. And this is a uh, free printable and I'll have a link for you in the description box where you can go print for these. Um, they print four to a sheet um, on eight half by eleven. And this is just a lightweight cardstock that I had in my stash that I printed them on. And I printed quite a few of them. But I'm going to add some more to the book for her so that she can add some recipes. Uh, each of the pages is the same, the same layout. This one, the pocket, has my first attempt at a shaker. I've never made one before. So it kind of moves around. I kind of wish I'd have used a double layer of the adhesive so that it would have more movement in there, but that was the first time I've made one, so it's not too bad for a first attempt. It says, let's bake stuff, drink hot cocoa, and watch Christmas movies. And that's just one of the ephemera pieces in there. And then this is one of the large cut-aparts with a recipe for gingerbread cookies. So this flap has two photos. You open it, and there's room for three more. And I just put one of the stickers on black cardstock there. And I've decided I'm going to send this to my granddaughter in Indiana because she just graduated college with her teaching degree this year and now has her first apartment on her own. So I thought this would be really fun for her to, uh, when she has company over and fixes dinner, she can uh, take photos and, and put the photos in her recipes in a book and save, save her memories that way. Uh, the back side of this one as I just want to bake stuff and watch Christmas movies. And then we have another one of the cut up one the recipe cards. And these are so cute and they were free. So you can't beat that. The price is right, huh? And you can get more than just that one card in each pocket. Page three has one of the ephemera pieces as official cookie baking crew. I have two of the little cupcakes from the sticker sheet. 
This one lifts up and we have two photomats with some of the um, enamel dots. And then I have another one of the recipe cards and I just left them blank on the back. And then if she needs to add more space, she can add more blank cardstock to it. I think what I'll do is uh, cut some more pieces, just blank pieces to go with them in case she has an exceptionally long recipe that she needs more room for and she can just staple them together or however she wants to do it. Back of this one, we have a recipe card. And then this one says, Recipe for a Merry Christmas, a dash of joy, a touch of peace, a pinch of magic, stir with hope, and sprinkle with wonder and love. This just had the cutest cut of parts and phrases on it. Really cute paper. And the last page flips up. Got a large photo area or a journaling spot here. I have two of the cut aparts, or not cut aparts, two of the recipe cards in here. And I just made a little bow with a button um, using the mini uh, envelope board, the mini envelope board, yeah. On the back side of this one in the pocket, we have two more recipe cards. And this one says Christmas cookies and happy hearts. This is how the holidays start. Isn't that sweet? Inside of the back cover, is the same as the front. Uh, these two pieces are glued down to the front of the tuck spot. Then we have a little hot pad and a bottle of milk from the sticker sheet. This cut apart says official cookie baking crew. Another one of the purchased recipe cards. And then on the back we have another tuck spot. So all in all it turned out really cute. I'm really happy with it and I think she'll love it when she gets it. She'll be quite surprised. Because I haven't sent her anything since I uh, made her a graduation book when she finished high school. So she'll be surprised. But it'll be something she can really get some good use out of. So that's it, guys. That's what I made with my Craftology box. And I've just about used everything in the kit. It's so cute. I do have some stickers left and a few cut aparts. A little bit of paper, but not a whole lot. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I hope you'll share photos of your finished project with us. Have a great day. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Bobby. Uh, today I am working on the um, Craftology box. It is the Gingerbread Christmas by Echo Park. And these are the chipboards that came in the kit. They are 6 by 8 and 2 and a half by 6. I have already covered my book cover like so. And I know we have umpteen million recipe books, cookie books, baking books, whatever. But this, what else? I can't think of anything else to do with this other than make some type of a cookbook. So, this is going to be a baking book. And I'm going to gift this to one particular person in my family, I believe. I have not decided everything for the front cover except the base papers. And I'll show you what I'm going to do, and then I'll glue them down off camera. I use the, oh, I don't, darn, I didn't write down the name of the paper. It's the one with the red background and white snowflakes. Let me see if this has a, there's no branding strip. On the back side, it has the little gingerbread houses. I don't know the name of the sheet, but I'll look it up for you and put it in the description box. But anyway, I'm going to have a stripe of that at the top and at the bottom of the cover. And I'm going to continue this same layout all the way around so it looks like a continuous wrap. Then in the center, I have a piece of the one with the holly berries and greenery. And on the back of it is another red print with white letters. And I'll also put the name of that for you in case you want yours to be like mine. This is going to go down the middle. I don't know what else I'm going to put on it just yet, and there'll be just a narrow black space between each one of the pieces. And then, like I said, it'll go all the way around. I have my pieces cut out and inked in black soot. So it will go like this. Oops, I'm moving it with my, hitting it with my hand. But anyway, you get the gist of it. That will wrap all the way around. 
and I have my, let me put these back up here until I'm ready to glue them on. I have my hinge cut and scored, and I did place a piece of the black cardstock to cover the inside of the spine. And my cardstock is cut of five and three quarters tall, five and a half wide, and I've scored it at every half inch. And then on your score lines, you'll glue these two together, skip one, glue the next two, skip one, glue the next two, skip one, and glue the next two. And that will be our hinge that will sit right here. We'll have four pages. All right, I am going to get all this glued down and decide what I want on the inside, and I'll come back and we'll cover that and we'll build our pages together. Okay, for the inside of the album cover, let me make sure I'm where you can see. Okay, the front and uh, back inside covers are the same. I have done the back cover and I will do the front together. These are just little stickers that I put on black cardstock and tucked in here. That'll be my stopper and this is just a flat page. I haven't put anything on the back just yet, but then you'll have this whole area. If she wants to put a journaling spot or a, a fix a recipe card or a photo, that would be fine. You know, just whatever. And then these little things serve as a stopper. I thought they were really cute. I just added a scrap of black cardstock with a little piece of um, the design paper. So let's do the front just like it. So I have cut out my papers and I've inked everything with um, black soot. So this little pocket will go down first and it is, the measurements are in your cut list, it is four and a quarter by five scored at one half and then I just tapered the edges and rounded these corners and I cut a piece of design paper let me get my ink or ink my glue and this goes on here Just like that. And then the pocket is, well, goodness, six by two and a half and scored three times at a half. And then just taper your corners here and the top edge. And this will go like this. So let's glue that down. Oops. on there and then we'll make a page together and then I'll finish my decorating off camera and I'll come back with a final walkthrough to show you how everything looks when I'm done putting it together that way I can keep the video to a minimum put my top back on there for now I get glue all over me oops I just knocked my inking tool on the ground Okay, there's that little pocket. There it is. Alright, now before we put our pattern paper down, we want this little pocket in here. So you're going to put glue on this edge.
and you can ballpark it towards the center. You can put it closer to the bottom or the top, whatever you want. That's totally up to you. Mine is a little bit closer to the bottom than the top, not much. And it's going to go just inside this score line where the center is. Just like that. And then we want to burnish it down really good. And I need... Next, I want to put my little red piece of trim along the edge because I can always trim down the black one easier than the black check. It's easier to trim down the large piece than it is these little skinny ones. So I will put it down, and if there's any overage, I'll take it off that check. So this is going to go right inside the front edge. Let's see how this works. Yeah, I'm going to take a little smidge off of it. Just a smidge. Because it's it'll fit, but it might be a bit, just a smidge tight. It won't take much. Let's see how that works. Because when I closed this before, I could feel it pushing on this. And you don't want that. So let me ink that edge again. Over time, if it's too tight like that over time, you'll end up with this edge starting to curl. And then it doesn't look pretty. Just a small space for that black to show just a tiny bit. <coughs> okay, so there's the inside cover. Now, I cut another one of these pieces. I wonder my, where my red went. I thought I had another piece of the... Oh, I do. Right here. Got away from me. I'm going to put this red stripe on there and make another little tuck spot for the front. That way I can eliminate the need for a magnet. And a little glue. Now, you put this over here. Just wherever you feel like it looks appropriate. And I thought I would use the tree here. And 
it's going to take a recipe card to hold this down. See, that'll slide behind the tree and that'll hold it closed. Kind of like that. So let's glue that on there. Actually, I think I might put the tree over farther and cut out some ornaments and maybe a couple packages to put over here. Yeah, that looks good right there. I'll have to cut out some more pieces for that. I'm just using stickers on black cardstock for my stoppers. And I'm sure a lot of you are going to ask me, what is this you're putting on your glue bottle? This is actually a point protector for a knitting needle. And they come in a package with four of them. They have them in pink, blue, yellow, white, all kinds of colors. And I think they were like $3.99. But the thing is, when I put it on here, my metal tip got stuck inside. But that's okay, I don't care. It still keeps it nice and sealed up. And then I have extra tips here if I need one for fine gluing. So, it works for me and it's so much easier than trying to stick that pin in and out and in and out. So let's lay this aside. Oh well, I want to show you a couple pages that I have already started on. This will be my first page. And, <clears throat> excuse me where we have this piece on the back that will be your hinge and it will just slide right over and that this way I've got a continuation of this paper over here I brought the red and the green both from this paper over here so it they're kind of related I guess you could say so that is that page and then my second page, I haven't done the back of this one because um, my second one will be this one. And when I put it on the hinge, well, I'm not catching the hinge. There we go. When I set it on here, I want to decorate this side of page one to correspond with this. That's why I haven't done anything to the back of that one. And then I cut out some little strips of the red to go in here once I get my pages down. I just wanted to make sure I had plenty of room for them and that there wasn't, they weren't too wide. So I'm holding off on that for the moment. But we're going to put a page together so that you can see. So let me pull these off. And this is one shaker that I created. It's the first time I've made a shaker. It's kind of okay. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. It's just a frame, and I put some, cut out some of the little houses from one of the design paper sheets. And these little candy sprinkles came with it, and this is one of the uh, ephemera. It says, let's bake stuff, drink hot cocoa, and watch Christmas movies. That's kind of cute, and it just holds this down. I still have to put something on there. But that'll be my stopper in that pocket. And this one, <clears throat> I had a little, another embellishment somewhere. I must have dropped it. This is one of the ephemeras. Christmas is love with sugar sprinkles on top. And I haven't put anything under that one yet either. But this is a tuck spot here where you can get more stuff in there. That's why I put the red behind it. I thought that really looked pretty. All right, so that's what I have so far. Now we're going to put one of the pages together so that you can see what my madness is. Okay, for the pages you have uh, four pieces. This is your base piece, and it is seven by six. And then you have a pocket that is eight by two and a half, and it's scored at a half inch, 
three times, both short sides and one long side. And that'll be your pocket for the front. And we're going to cut out these corners, get rid of that bulk. And snip a little bit off of these top edges. And then we'll burnish these down. <coughs> some glue this page set is so easy to put together it just goes really quick and I have a <clears throat> granddaughter that lives in Indiana and I'm in Texas and I don't get to see her a whole lot but she just graduated college with her teaching degree and she has her first apartment so I thought this would be awesome to send her she can start saving her own recipes and she can take pictures of things that she's made or maybe pretty cakes or pies something you know and when her boyfriend's over and they cook together they can take some pictures of what they make and put it in her book I just thought it'd be a really cute idea for her so this is your <coughs> Uh, five and three quarters by four. One long edge is scored at a half. And you don't have to trim these edges this time because it's not going all the way across. I mean, it's not going to the top or one of the sides where you have to worry about any overage. So we're going to put glue on this. And it's going to go to the top. And see this little white half inch line? That's going to pretty much make it even. Pretty close to it. So we're going to burnish this down. And then we're going to flip it over like this. This will be your back side. And then this is what is going to make your hinge. So we're going to, this one is, let me tell you that, I forgot, 7 by 3, and both short ends are scored at a half. And then we'll burnish these, and we're just going to add it to the back. And when you turn it over, this is your front, this is your back, this is your hinge. So you're going to add it to this end right here. So I'm going to turn it where I can see it. And then I'm going to add glue to both of these ends. I'm going to match up my corners here. I don't have any overhang here. Okay, looks good. So we can burnish this down. And that's all it is, all there is to putting the page together. You have your flap, your pocket, and your hinge. What makes these so cute is how you decorate them. So choose whatever papers you want. You don't have to make it just like mine. I mean, you can if you want, but if you have different uh, paper arrangements you want to use, that's fine and dandy. Everybody likes things a little bit different. However it pleases you, that's how you should make your album. So, enjoy. I hope uh, if you do make it, you'll share photos with me, but I will be back with my finished project and do a walkthrough of the completed project. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Okay guys, one last thing I want to share with you before I, I do my final video on this. Um, on the front cover, we had done this part together, the papers. I just added one of the cut aparts. says it's not Christmas without cookies. And all of these little pieces are from the sticker sheet. 
and I just uh, used pop dots that I came from Country Craft Creations. So then when you open it, this is page one, and we did that one together, and this is one of the cut aparts that was in the collection, and this is just a standard recipe card that you can buy anywhere. And then on the back I have a little tuck spot, just a little band, and I put a couple cut aparts up under there. So these will slide in the pocket and tuck behind the Christmas tree. Then this pocket, uh, we have the stopper here. And, oh, the little gingerbread man has to come out. These are just from the sticker sheet on black cardstock. And it opens like this, a little journaling spot or photo, whichever, however you want to do it. Totally up to the individual person how they want to decorate it. Let's put this big one down here. Put the little gingerbread man over here and this one here. So that is that page. Then on the back side, uh, these little recipe cards I found free online and I'll put a description box, or description, I'll put a link in the description box so that you can print these. They come out on a eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. This is just a lightweight cardstock that I had in my stash. And they come out landscape like this, four to a sheet. And if you'll put it in your cutter and cut it at five and a half, and then put each of these sections in and cut them at four and a quarter, you'll come out with four identical recipe cards. Then this page was the one with the um, shaker. Uh, this is just a piece of um, chipboard that was in the collection and I, actually it's cardstock and I used the roll of um, adhesive that came with it and I put one of the um, ephemera pieces in the background. I kind of wish I'd used a double layer of the adhesive so that they would move around better because they kind of get hung up in there but it still turned out pretty cute. That was my first attempt at a shaker. I'm not a big shaker fan. They're, they're okay, but I've never made one before, so it's not too bad. And then I cut these little houses out from one of the design sheets. And this little gingerbread cookie recipe was one of the cut aparts. And then when you open this one, I put the little cookie jar there. So that holds that one down. And then we go to the back of that page and I have another one of those little recipe cards and a cut apart. And you can get plenty in these pockets. They're pretty roomy. This one just says I just want to bake stuff and watch Christmas movies. So, but they will fit in either way, lengthwise or you can see they'll go pretty far down. And then this will go in here. Then on page three, we have some little cut aparts in this little tuck spot here. Just opens this way. We have two photo mats, and I put some of the enamel dots in there that came with the collection. So let's put this little goodie in here, and I just kind of put it in an angle so it holds that down, and then added my cupcakes. And these are cupcakes are from the sticker sheet. Back side we have another recipe card and a cut apart. This one says recipe for making a for a Merry Christmas is a dash of dash of joy, a touch, a touch of peace, and a pinch of magic. Stir with hope. Sprinkle with wonder and love. Isn't that cute? This has got really cute cut aparts in it. So that'll go in there. I just cut this. I had plenty to make it work, but I thought it looked neat to kind of cut it and leave a little uh, strip of black showing. I, th I felt like it just added a little interest to it, so that's why I did that. It wasn't an accident. I did it on purpose. On this side, I used a little mini punch board to make a bow and added a button there. This one flaps up. Got two recipe cards in there. And I don't actually have a stopper on that one. I'll have to put something in there. Um, I've got some more... Um, stickers here. I've got some more stickers that I can cut out and and put in here to be a stopper if I choose to. 
but it's going to have to be something that will tuck behind the bow. So maybe the mixer would be a good idea. On the back side of that one, we have another pocket, of course, to cut it to the recipe cards. And then it says Christmas cookies and happy hearts. This is how the holidays start. And on the inside back cover, I have another little tuck spot with uh, two of the stickers in there and an ephemera. Official cookie baking crew. Just have a bottle of milk and a hot pad. And the star and the mixing bowl are glued down for the stopper. And then this is another recipe card. And when you flip over, we have another little tuck spot here. And I don't have anything in that yet. So that I'll have to fix. But I'm real happy with the way it turned out. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it when I first opened this collection. But then I thought, you know what? Lydia's in her first home, her first apartment since college. And that would be really cute to send her something where she can start making her own memories with recipes. And when she has friends over for dinner and stuff, it'd be fun to save the recipes and take pictures and keep them all together in a little memory album. So that's what I'm going to do. This little thing is going to head to Indiana. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I hope you'll share photos of your finished project with us. Thanks for watching. Bye.